son. You know the person you dropped off? Huh? Abandoned at Camp Wanawak? <laughs> that place, that strange place with strange people? They even have strange rules. They give us a glass of prune juice every night before bed. There are 300 kids with disabilities here, half of whom with bowel issues, and they're forcing prune juice on it. <laughs> you ever heard of Shit Creek, Mom? <laughs> it's real. <laughs> but the prune juice isn't the worst of it. I swear they're trying to kill me. Take my first day here, for example. You think part of counselor's training would include walker setup class. Well, I get into my walker, and the next thing I know, snap! I'm on the floor and my fingers are trapped in the walker! Son of a bug! <laughs> but the nurses were really nice with their regular <laughs> ice treatments. The swelling went down in a couple of days. But wait, Mom, there's more! The fire department showed up with hoses. Apparently it's a tradition for them to come so the kids can run around the hose and cool off at the same time. You wanna know what happens when a bunch of kids run around the hose while other kids with ambulatory issues watch nearby? <coughs> Mom, your son gets kicked in the eyeball. In the eyeball, mother. <laughs> God, uh, how is that a thing? But the nurses were really nice. They know my favorite color of lollipop now. <laughs> They're so nice, in fact, that one of them took me into town for my asthma shot because my inhaler stopped working. Those shots hurt like a motherfucker. <laughs> but then, they all took us out camping on an uninhabited island, and I got to ride a boat back to the cabin because dropping off a severe asthmatic in the middle of the wilderness is not a good idea. <laughs> but don't worry, Mom, the nurses are taking good care of me. <laughs> I got all their addresses, so I don't know. <laughs> I really wish I had gotten to know the people in my cabin. I heard they're really nice people. I can't wait to see you in a couple of days. I'll be the camper with the black eye and the oxygen tank. <laughs> your loving, your half-dead son, 